In this video, we are discussing few important drugs that are used in hospital during emergency situations. This video is for education purpose only. Using of drugs depend upon client's condition and hospital guidelines. Please do not use medicines without doctor's prescription because it may cause adverse reactions. You can download the PDF of this video from our telegram page link given in description box. You are watching for nurses preparation YouTube channel. I am Neeraj Kumar Kathal. Let's start the video. First drug is adenosine. It is used to revert supraventricular tachycardia. What is supraventricular tachycardia? It is a faster than normal heart rate beginning above the heart's two lower chambers. Supraventricular tachycardia is a rapid heartbeat that develops when the normal electrical impulses of the heart are disturbed. Second is most important drug used in emergency situations is adrenaline. All the drugs which are discussing in this video are arranged in a alphabetical order. Adrenaline also known as epinephrine. It is a hormone and a medication also. Adrenaline is used in the treatment of anaphylactic shock, bronchospasm and cardiac arrest. Next drug is aminophylline. It is a bronchodilator drug. It causes a smooth muscle relaxation. Aminophylline is used in the treatment of asthma, bronchitis and emphysema. Next drug is amiodarone. Amiodarone is an antiarrhythmic medication. It is used to treat and prevent a number of types of irregular heartbeats. This includes ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation and wide complex tachycardia as well as atrial fibrillation and paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. Next important drug is atropine sulfate. Atropine sulfate is a belladonna alkaloid. It is used in the treatment of sinus bradycardia. Bradycardia means low heart rate. Heart rate below 60 per minute. It is also used in treatment of cardiac arrest, especially AV block. It is used before surgeries to reduce salivation and bronchial secretion. Atropine sulfate also used as a antidote of organophosphate poisoning. Next important drug is Avil. Avil drug is most commonly used for the treatment of allergic reactions. Avil drug contains phenaramine malate. Next drug is calcium gluconate. Calcium gluconate is a mineral supplement and medication. As a medication, it is used by injection into vein to treat different conditions like hypocalcemia. Hypocalcemia means low blood calcium level, hyperkalemia, high blood potassium level, and magnesium toxicity. While injecting this medication, be very careful. It have various sudden adverse effects. Next important drug is Derifiline. Derifiline contains etophiline and theophylline. It is used in the treatment of asthma and difficulty in breathing. Dexamethasone is the next drug. Dexamethasone is a corticosteroid medication. It is used in the treatment of COPD. COPD stands for Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease. Also used in the treatment of severe allergic reactions and asthma. Guys, if you find this video is helpful then please click upon the like button. Thank you. Next important drug is Diazepam. It is a medicine of benzodiazepine family that typically produces a calming effect. 
Diazepam is used in the treatment of prolonged seizures. Next is Diclofenac. It is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug used to treat pain and inflammatory diseases. Digoxin is next one. It is also a very important medicine. Digoxin is a medication especially used to treat various heart conditions. Most frequently it is used for atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter and heart failure. Next emergency medicine is Dobutamine. Dobutamine belongs to chemical class catecholamine. Dobutamine mainly used in the treatment of heart failure. The heart failure may be due to cardiac surgery, septic or cardiogenic shock. This emergency medicine also used in congestive heart failure to increase cardiac output. Now let's talk about dopamine. It is a hormone and a neurotransmitter that plays several important role in the brain and body. Dopamine as emergency medicine it is used in the treatment of severe low blood pressure, slow heart rate and cardiac arrest. Next is Ethamsilate. Ethamsilate drug is an anti-hemorrhagic agent which is used to prevent bleeding or to stop bleeding. Next one is Flumazenil. It is used to treat drug overdose. It reverses sedative effect of medicines. Let's talk about most important drug, Lasix. Generic name, Frosemide. Used during acute and chronic heart failure and other state of fluid overload. It is also used in the treatment of hypertension and hyperkalemia. Heparin is the next one. Heparin is an anticoagulant and used in the treatment of blood clotting disorders, heart attack and unstable angina. Hydrocortisone. It is a glucocorticoid. It has anti-inflammatory action. Hydrocortisone improve airway, it reduces asthma exacerbation, it is used to treat severe allergic reactions also. Next drug is Lidocaine. Indication Anesthesia and Arrhythmia. Lidocaine used in the treatment of ventricular arrhythmias, acute myocardial infraction, digoxin poisoning, cardioversion. Next emergency medicine is methylprednisolone. Methylprednisolone is a corticosteroid medication used to suppress the immune system and decrease inflammation. Methylprednisolone used in the treatment of severe allergic reaction and immune system disorders. Midazolam. Midazolam is a benzodiazepine drug. Midazolam is used for creating anesthesia, for creating procedural sedation in the treatment of severe agitation and prolonged seizures. Next and most important drug, morphine sulfate. It is a opioid analgesic. Analgesics means painkiller. This drug is a drug of choice for the treatment of myocardial infraction. Adverse effects of morphine sulfate. Respiratory depression and hypotension. Its antidote is naloxone. Next is nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin also known as glyceryl trinitrate GTN. It is a vasodilator drug. Nitroglycerin is a medication used in the treatment of angina pectoris to decrease chest pain. Mostly it is used by sublingual root. Sublingual root means just below the tongue. In injection form it is used to treat accelerated hypertension. Next important emergency medicine is 
नॉर एपिनेफ्रिन नॉर एपिनेफ्रिन ऑल्सो नोन एज नॉर एड्रीनलिन इट एक्ट एज अ हॉर्मोन एंड न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर नॉर एपिनेफ्रिन इंक्रीजेज हर्ट रेट नॉर एपिनेफ्रिन और नॉर एड्रीनलिन ऑल्सो यूज टू ट्रीट लो ब्लड प्रेशर नेक्स्ट एमरजेंसी ड्रग इज पैम पी ए एम पैम इंजेक्शन कंटेन्स प्रेलीडॉक्सीम पैम इंजेक्शन इज अ प्रिस्क्रिप्शन मेडिसिन यूज इन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ पॉइजनिंग कॉज बाय पेस्टिसाइड्स एंड केमिकल्स दैट कंटेन ऑर्गेनो फॉस्फेट्स और सिंपली वी कैन से पैम इज अ एंटीडॉट ऑफ ऑर्गेनो फॉस्फेट पॉइजनिंग पैरासीटामोल पी सी एम पैरासीटामोल ऑल्सो नोन एज एसिटामिनोफेन इट इज यूज टू ट्रीट फीवर एंड माइल्ड टू मोडरेट पेन नेक्स्ट एमरजेंसी मेडिसिन इज फेनार्गन फेनार्गन कंटेन प्रोमैथाजीन फेनार्गन इज यूज इन सीडेशन नोजी एंड वॉमिटिंग सीवियर एलर्जिक रिएक्शंस एंड ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन रिएक्शंस पोटेशियम क्लोराइड इज द नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एमरजेंसी ड्रग पोटेशियम क्लोराइड फॉर्मूला इज के सी एल पोटेशियम क्लोराइड इज यूज टू ट्रीट एंड प्रिवेंट लो ब्लड पोटेशियम लो ब्लड पोटेशियम इज कॉल्ड हाइपोकैलीमिया हाइपोकैलीमिया मे अकर ड्यू टू वॉमिटिंग डायरिया और सर्टेन मेडिकेशंस नॉर्मल लेवल्स ऑफ पोटेशियम रेंज फ्रॉम थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एम मोल पर लीटर टू फाइव पॉइंट टू एम मोल पर लीटर इन अडल्ट द कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड वर्जन शुड बी डायल्यूटेड बिफोर यूज दिस मेडिसिन नेक्स्ट ड्रग इज सोडा बाई कार्बोनेट दिस एमरजेंसी मेडिसिन used in the treatment of severe metabolic acidosis and hyperkalemia succinylcholine succinylcholine also known as succamethonium it is a medication used to cause short term paralysis as a part of general anesthesia to facilitate tracheal intubation or electroconvulsive therapy next very important drug is vasopressin vasopressin also called anti diuretic hormone adh vasopressin is used in emergency settings to raise blood pressure in adults who are in shock last emergency medicine of this video is dextrose intravenous sugar solution also known as dextrose solution it is a mixture of dextrose and water in simple words we can say dextrose is a glucose dextrose come in a number of strengths including 5% dextrose 10% dextrose and 50% dextrose it is used in the treatment of hypoglycemia hypoglycemia means low blood sugar level hypokalemia in the treatment of hypokalemia 25% dextrose plus insulin is given it is also known as antidote of hyperkalemia dextrose is also used in the treatment of diabetic ketoacidosis to prevent hypoglycemia while treating with insulin Thank you so much friends for watching this complete video if you find this video is helpful then please click up on the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe our youtube channel for nurses preparation all the best